right, so I have three rules that I use to learn everything. And in this video, I'm going to use those three rules to learn a medium I have never used before, acrylic paint. I know what you might be saying to yourself. You literally have a background in art. How difficult can acrylic paint be for you? This is day one of my painting. Do you see that right there? That's supposed to be a heart. You know that there's potential for growth here. So yeah, let's go over my rules for learning. Rule one, limit the amount of excuses you can make. If at the end of the day, you're able to confidently tell yourself and other people that, yeah, dude, I have nothing to blame, it's all on me, then you have created the best environment to facilitate the maximum amount of learning. You're like wringing the experience for everything it's got. The way that I applied this for this experiment, trying to learn acrylic painting in seven days, is I opted out for the student grade painting and I actually just fully committed with professional grade acrylic paints and professional grade canvas. I knew that if the painting went bad, that was an area where I could have immediately pointed to and said, ah, dude, I could have done better if I had better paints. So I just cut that out altogether. Rule number two, throw out the 10,000 hour rule. Now, Malcolm Gladwell coined this term, the 10,000 hour rule or whatever. I read this in high school, but I think it's greatly misleading because either people misinterpret it or people get caught up in the wrong thing about it. So just throw it all out. Forget the 10,000 hour rule. Instead of spending 10,000 hours towards a craft and thinking you'll get better at it, apply critical thinking and make one hour worth 10,000 hours. Increase the resolution that you're thinking. Out of the seven days that I prepared to paint my first acrylic painting ever, three of the days I actually spent painting. Four out of the seven days, I was just thinking. And it was just one hour per day. I didn't have that much time to dedicate towards this project. And rule number three, arguably the most important rule, always keep your well-defined purpose in mind. Now, what do I mean by well-defined purpose? Well, that's largely up to the individual. But I would say a general rule of thumb that's worked for me is a non-superficial one. For instance, if I went about this acrylic painting to make money or to be the best in the world or to impress others, I think that those are rather vain and pointless, superficial reasons for pursuing acrylic paints. But if I was to try to express myself, to learn, to grow, and to apply these learned things to other areas of my life and to have fun, I think that those are pretty valid well-defined purposes. For this project of mine, my well-defined purpose was to actually celebrate a new chapter of my life where I got a new job and got a new apartment and had all these new experiences that I was learning. I thought it'd be thematic if I trialed a new thing, acrylic paints, a medium that I had never tried before. Also, my employer who hired me and gave me the new job and who I regard as my mentor offered me this book called The Chiba Collection, Medical Illustrations by Dr. Frank Netter, MD. And on page 191 of this book, 
but it's a beautiful depiction of a mitral commissurotomy. I thought it would be cool if I painted something from this book, so at least throughout the time that I'm being lent the book, I really maximized and used it. So that's my well-defined purpose. And the reason why I say rule number three is the most important is because regardless of all the deviations and the tangents you make, the little tributaries you end up following, regardless of how inefficient you are as a thinker, or regardless of how many excuses you can end up making, honestly, if you keep that main purpose in mind, you will still end up finding yourself at that goal. You just might take a little longer. So, after having applied my three rules for the past seven days, let's finally start painting. So first of all, um, I was listening to classical music during the whole time. Great experience, would highly recommend. You know, I feel like it's not too bad. I'm really worried about the hands. Uh, not because I can't draw hands. In fact, hands are my favorite thing to draw. But it's rather I'm worried about the color of the gloves. I'm really happy with the detail of the like trabeculae and all of that. That's, I'm sort of static about that. I don't really like this border. Looks a little cheap, so I'm gonna see if I can uh, dull that out with some pink. <laughs> Your hair is messy. I started adding more detail, so um, now it's time to get it finished. So basically today, we are painting the hands. Um, I have it anti-ergonomically uh, sitting on my desk. <laughs> The gloves are super yellow. All right, so I am a lot happier with the color of this relative to that. And I'm actually happy that there was a layer of yellow underneath because occasionally you'll see that start popping out. I'm slowly doing it. So after my seven day journey and all the days that it took me to actually finish this painting, I'm happy with the result. Obviously I could have spent more time rendering it, but I wanted to keep that main purpose in mind, which was to just grow and have fun and sort of tell myself that I could do it. And I feel like I've gotten to a point with this painting where I feel happy. There are points where they're well rendered and there are points where there could be more work to be done. but. I've proven myself to myself, and that's all that really matters. And honestly, I feel like it was a really fun experience. So on all the points where I wanted to have my well-defined purpose, I checked them all off and I'm grateful for the experience. So I guess my last couple questions or challenges for you all is this. Do you have an area of your life where you're trying to learn something? Are you limiting the amount of excuses you can make while pursuing that? 
Are you increasing your resolution of thought and being critical in how you apply your mind towards learning that? And do you have a well-defined purpose when pursuing this project of yours? Do you think you need to change it? I would love to hear about your passion projects. I would also love to hear how you hate my painting. Regardless, I hope you all enjoyed and uh, yeah, peace.